Okay. Four, three. <clears throat> okay. Sorry, guys. We were just uh, <laughs> we practiced our math between the games. We want to make sure we were above NA maths, uh, especially since we've got an NA team in this game. We are back with Blink Pool versus Wind and Rain, and Lizard is wagging his tail. He's excited for this one, aren't you, Liz? My tail. Is, I'm so excited. My tail is gonna fall off, but I'm a lizard. Don't worry. It's gonna grow It'll back. grow back. It's fine. You know why I'm excited? Tell me. Because you actually said something you, when Kingwin was flaming, playing. You were flaming uh, your UK dots, but wind and rain, man. Like they're actually. <laughs> No, seriously, they're, they're right. They're a UK organization. So is London so. Esports. <laughs> I mean, I, I, right? <laughs> so is, they, like, so is Blinkpool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the UK the battle doctor, right? Of the here. Brits. We've got the it. We've done it. <laughs> you did it, man. You made it. <laughs> Finally made it. Oh my god. You no, know, you don't have to wait for Shapestick to. <laughs> I don't know, like some other players. <laughs> like I only know Shipstick. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow, you know one person. We've really set a high standard here for uh, just because your country. Uh, how many pro players? You've got at least two, because one of them's in this game. Um, yeah, we have. Mil we we actually from Bosnia. There's there's uh, like at least four to five players that played in tier three, tier two scene. Uh... And we're exactly. such, such a small country, like we barely have 3 million people or something. I, I like how you're slowly digging UK more, like we're a small country, yeah. I mean there's so yeah, many like... of you. But you know what, there is many of Phantom Lancers, and there's one in this draft. They picked up a Magnus as well. Well that's a new one actually. Like Magnus has been sneaking in, like he did get some nice buffs. I still, like I've been, I, I don't know how you feel about this, I feel like the buffs to Mag were good. I think the inherent issue is like people want to play him as an off laner, but yeah. Skewer's cooldown is a little bit too high. Maybe like five it's, seconds off, and he's good. I, that, that's not my problem. It, it's not the ske skewer cooldown on the off lane. It's the thing that you can't really pressure a lane with him fairly well. That's my problem. Like you, you have these dual lane scenarios in which you want to be kicking them and hitting them and punching them and casting arcane bolts at them and whatnot and then you have this magnus all right guys here i am uh, i can skewer i suppose <laughs> <laughs> hey guys i do nothing hit me i do nothing i empower you and that's it like here you go i empower you i'm gonna defend it i've seen a nice one it was wind ranger support of a magnus okay that empower buff damage actually wasn't too bad like what eight nine extra damage that's nice yeah, it was actually pretty decent. Like, in fairness, yeah. it really helped because Wind Ranger right now is really good at harassing people out lanes. Yeah, I mean, Wind Ranger on the offlane uh, in this dual lane scenario is all about your right click. You don't you don't level the power shot first. You level the wind run. The yeah, wind run. Yeah, and then if you get empowered, you can actually run people down, hit them. Yeah. It's nice. I can see like that. A, that see, I'm already reading Blink Pool strategy. Watch, it's gonna be a Wind Ranger. Uh, I'm not so certain about that, but it might be, yeah. It might be. It, it's also it's interesting, possible. because both of these, like, the, the Undying got picked up a win rain, but it could have been either team. The, both these teams, like, Misery plays this a lot. So, mm -hmm. this could have went to either team. They did pick up the Bloodseeker, which means they need to bolster the amount of damage they have in their outer lanes on the side of wind and rain, and they need to do it by a lot. They do have this Undying again. I win, like, what I really like is that they... Bend out the Winter Wyvern, like Wind and Drain played the sick Winter Wyvern last game. Milan was really good on it. And they, they're actually valuing that hero, hero a lot. And we have a Leshrac. Oh, ho, Leshrac coming. I mean, we said they need to increase their damage. And this hero, he adds a lot to a lane. I'm wondering if they're going to run. To, to, what do you think? It's going to be a Bloodseeker mid or outer lanes? Because the, there's one or two teams that like to run up mid, and the others seem to be focusing in the outer lanes. It depends. It, like, it's not about what what teams prefer it's what's best for your current game yeah it's all about flex yeah uh, yeah it's about the flexibility and we have the wind ranger see, you called it man see, I, 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 like you know what you're fired okay i'm, I'm you done know what? no 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 I, 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 it's only this game because it's it's uh, two brits <laughs> it out, you know so you there know you go. see i have the insight lizard you yeah. better resign because i'm the yeah, analyst so now right yeah. even, even though even though i played in a team with some so many <laughs> players you know them better because because you know it's the players. british it's the british gaming mind okay yeah, i, I wouldn't yeah, expect yeah. you to understand you ha i don't think you've even been to britain yet okay you need to get across at some point we've been to germany together i need to take you to britain so you can then question every choice we make in our dota games dude 
it's a core Leshrac, actually. So yeah. uh, you you were right. Like this is most likely a Bloodseeker on the side lane. It 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 you can still run the Leshrac on one of the side lanes, but we'll see if they wanna do that. With this Bane pick up pick, pick they kind of what I liked about these first three picks is they're very versatile, right? But Bane kind of closes that up and it shows your card. It shows your hands, uh, your hands a little bit more. Because now but... you know that Undying and Bane are supports, 100%. And then you have Lashak and Bloodseeker cores. On the other hand, Windrunner is Windranger is most likely one of the supports, while Magnus and Phantom Lancer are cores. However, Windranger also can be on offlane here. Or, so you know what, Liz? Or I you, think you're just you know? trying to uh, you're trying to devalue the fact that I was right again. And uh, you know, I don't, I don't appreciate it. Oh, you called it, man! <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not gonna, dude. You called. Can't it take it away from me now. I've got it. I okay? can't take it. Yeah, I called you... two in a, a row. Were correct. Are, but... are we writing these points down? Maybe. I, I don't know. Are we keeping score? Should we be keeping score? Oh Chat? God! Sh Things just got and hot in here. Lena. Now nice. this lane is what I, I call this the volatile lane, Lena versus Lashrat, because it's a lane you watch. And you feel <laughs> it like, can go either way, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. Like the the advantage this rack kind of has is the range on Split Earth, but mm -hmm. because of the nerf they've done to Lightning Storm, he doesn't have. I, I say it's very much a draw now. Either hero, like either player, could take this lane. Definitely, it, it kind of depends on who gets help earlier. Maybe you know, even like the one we won is fun to watch, but the first rotation that happens, like the the opposing hero, probably dies. If this Wind Ranger just. Uh, goes around with Windrun, tanks the tower, she can dive the left track together with Lina. On the other hand, if Bane creeps in and sleeps, Lina and left track can follow up with the stun. So it's going to be fun to watch how it pans out. I also, is it, maybe, oh. maybe, maybe the team, maybe the, the chat can keep scores for us on our call. <laughs> Maybe this Endoc guy or someone from the uh, chat. All, all that matters is that I'm two up. Uh, but the, the I mean, oozing meme. The the... Oozing... Wait, I I I pick this oozing me me meme guy from the chat to to, to keep the score on who made more better pre... like more who made the correct predictions. You know, and like me, I man. will clearly win that. I'll slide the money across to you later. Anyway, <laughs> um, but I, honestly, like folks on the drive a little bit. We should, probably should. That's kind of our job. Is I was gonna say, with wind and rain. Do you feel like they need another hero that offers stuns right now? Because the setup from Bane is good. Bloodseeker holding in place with Rupture. It feels like you need something else to go in and finish that. Mm, they they could get more team fights, more control. That's true. I was thinking like Sand King has fallen off as an offlaner, and it looks like yeah. they need an offlaner right now. Like they're, it's like this. If they lean with Undying, it's range. You can pick up with Bane, they can pick up anything. We'll see what they opt for. They're playing versus is X banned? X is not banned. No, it just got banned. Final ban. Ah, it got banned. Final ban. You see? See, like, there you go. You're not well like I, I just I just know what what's good here, but it gets it gets banned. It feels like, bad. I, I don't know if Winter Rain I know a few teams have been running the blood seek in the off lane occasionally because the duo lanes mm -hmm. they like off lane isn't the old off lane where it's like, oh that lane's lost, right? Now it's you can contend. So it no, could be like, that we see is... something completely unexpected. I, hmm. they 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 can run the Bloodseeker offlane as well if if that's what you're thinking. It's not impossible. Yeah, because, that's what I'm thinking. Like, it's not it's not truly the offlane any longer. Like before, you were thinking like, all right, we're gonna send one dude on offlane and minimize our our losses, right? Make him get as much as possible without dying way too many times. And now, it's the same. But for your safe lane, like your safe lane is not very safe any longer because you always have these dual lanes with undyings and sky rats. And it's actually the lane that's the hardest in the game right now. Like the carries are always shut down so hard. So yeah, they can run the Bloodseeker offlane, sure. Is it, is it the best thing though? I'm not so certain. Yeah, that's a debatable factor. But Blink Pool still need to pick a hero too. And look mm -hmm. at this right now. It like it could, I think it's gonna be another support. It should be another support. It has to be, yeah. It, it, it's, it definitely is. And there we oh, go. Oh, wow. <laughs> what a support, Brilliant. man. Against this Brilliant. as well. They don't really have this this regular attack in full, right? It's not like a Wind Ranger that burns through all the, the uh, living armors. You're gonna get good value out of this tree in this game. Yep. The only thing that I see burning through it is Lashrak right now, right? So. But those are pulses. It's still like. 
I mean, double edict is the only thing I think. Yeah, of. Edict, that, that'll, edict, that'll I'm, I'm talking about edict here. Yeah. But you don't level that early, so in the early events, like you could actually do a lot of work with the living armor. Because I, I think we typically see like one point put into about level four, mm -hmm. and then usually you see this focus around one of the skills because they all have I, value. Yeah, I, I, I actually don't like that so much. Like the tree and you can skill him any possible way. I just think that second skill should not be uh, uh, maxed any longer. We'll see what they do on the side of Blinkpool right now. However, uh, it got nerfed. And let's see the last one. TA. All right. So it's Blood Seeker on the side lane, as you called. It, it, it just might be Leshrac and Undying on the off lane and Bane and Blood Seeker on the safe lane. We'll see how they go. They, they can lane it either way they want, to be honest. It's probably forever, right? They it's have, forever. yeah, they have flexibility. Forever is their off laner. Uh, but like we said, we should just stop calling it off lane. The current meta, it is the top lane and the bottom lane. It's that simple. Bam, sorted. Um, they have this setup with Leshrac and Bane, right? But at the same time, Undying and 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 Leshrac are kind of a stronger lane. So we'll see. Bane is one of the heroes that can actually fight off Treant and. There aren't many heroes that can do that. There aren't many heroes that can fight off a 90 damage beast hitting you from invis. And Bane is one of those because of the brain sap. Yeah, it's effective trading. It's not just you healing, it's you killing as well. So, yeah. definitely capabilities wise, like in terms of supports, who do you really give it to? Like, who has the strongest supports in lane phase? Because Wind Ranger contends very well, but like we said, Bane at the same time can handle either of these two. Yeah. I I I'm pretty certain uh, Wind and Drain is a bit stronger in the laning stage but it's kind of it depends how the players play right it's it's not it's not like i don't know i have a bane you have a some line or something i'm gonna dominate you completely it's more like i have a bane you have a tree and we're both fat and it, it depends who makes uh who steps out of position more you know who who does a mistake something like that it's it's more about that than anything else on the other hand you have an undying the hero is just too hard to kill early on with the decays and everything. So it's also that it. extra value, right? Again, like if the train matched up against the undying, it's the fact that you're going to do better in harassing because you're taking not only health away from the train, you're taking damage. Yeah, his well. damage as well because he's strength based. Yeah, he's uh, so undying also fares very, very well versus the tree and too. So I, I guess if I was to choose, I would choose wind and drain a little bit. It's a bit easier for them to to lane with these supports, but at the same time, perhaps Blinkpool's supports do a bit more later on in the game. I think yeah, I think it's also more on that. Like like in terms of whole lineup as well, Wind and Rain, the heroes can get out of control easier. If that makes sense. Like like you've got cooldowns to play around on the side of Blinkpool, whereas you've got the consistency of aggression coming out from War and Rain. We can't really. Uh, uh, last time I we made I made this mistake in which I said that <laughs> Undying is not gonna do way too much later on. And in you one wanna game, call it? You wanna call yeah. it? <laughs> no, I don't wanna. You learned your mistakes, uh, didn't you, Liz? Yeah, You'll never but... do that. You'll never criticize an Undying and say he's incapable again. Dude, it was one of my favorite heroes. It feels weird seeing him do a lot later on in the game. Let's go. We have a smoke up on the side of Dire. They're gonna ward up mid. And they're gonna invade the forest with this one ward. Oh god, I think you were right. Like, this game looks ugly in 1080p on a 27 inch. I shouldn't have done this. But, yes, they will go in. They do get these wards down. And neither of them spotted out by the side of Blinkpool. Blinkpool went for a rather defensive ward, central. Which doesn't give any rune control. Doesn't give you vision on the runes at all. Yep, they, they have no rune controls. And you see this forever, Leshrac taking that splitter and just clearing the trees. True, you <laughs> pesky treant. Oh, we see this so you. often. It's like when you see a Beastmaster pick, Treant's like, well, <laughs> my, my <laughs> job's done. He's like, should I stay here? Uh, this is not my home anymore. Maybe I go top lane. I think like, my for... favorite one I saw that against was uh, when a team picked Techies and the other team picked a position 5 Beastmaster simply to get rid of all the trees. It was glorious. Oh,
So you just ask since he can't really hide his minds anywhere. Like, Feels like, bad, man. This is LGD versus PlayStation. They actually got rid of the tree straight away. I was like, why don't you just wait two minutes and then farm all of his minds? Uh, Milan, I'm pretty deep here. Hey, yep. only hits on a one. Taking a lot of damage. I mean, it's kind of an issue, right? Like, the thing with training is you have to aggress. The moment you're running away, you have zero armor. And you run yeah, very you... slow. But we have a port coming in. Sax has shown up. He has Man can get double the case, though. Slow them a bit. He's not really up for it. Yeah. yeah he's the reluctant. double the case are, are very difficult to deal with. Oh, Bane is porting bottom. We're going to have a three on three action here, man. Oh, oh I, I see nope. where you're coming from. Nope. Well, this, no, it's a three on try. Okay, that's different. Nope. Milan is like, nope. I'm <laughs> out, guys. I mean, look Goodbye. at Saxo. He just takes so much damage from Kitrak. Kitrak, going to get rude. Can they turn on this to the question? Madara going to move across as well. So, Lance it comes out. Can. Kitrak, brain sap not enough to protect. Misery gets the first blood. I mean, yeah, you're tanky, but if you go that far, that deep in, you're gonna pay the consequences, definitely. I kind of like the fact that they've stuck Milan top against Kezu, because, of course, you are reducing his damage as well, which makes it harder for him to CS. Mm -hmm. And we have the tree and here now as well. And speaking but of CS... He's empowered, by the way. This tree hits forever. <laughs> Yeah, he's pretty damn tanky and he's pretty and he's damn hard. he's still losing the fight. He's still losing the fight, though. Yep. The K just does way too much work. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, I mean, Kaiser, ha Kaiser has a slight lead, but you expect that the first few levels. Once Brawl starts getting a few points from Refraction and Side Lades, he can start to contend. And yeah. phew. It, What's the salve already? It's basically the story of this lane, right? Like, you, you might win super early on, but later on... TA can just blow you up every time she sees you if she's even slightly ahead with that blink dagger that zooms. It's the type of hero you like, we've shut him down it's like two minutes later. It's like, okay, he kind of killed three of us and he's running towards our base. Oh, Milan. They threw him. Skewer him back. It's under tower, but decay on the two. Mikey Malai will it. Soul Rip coming through. The tower still hitting. They'll turn around, starting to hit on Ritsu. He needs to run away because Misery does a lot of damage. But Kezu, because of this skill build, has no points in the shockwave yet. So he can't kill off either. Being blood raged and then being hit by 107 damage <laughs> and protector, that's not fun. Yeah, I, I, you know, I can understand why he stuck him up here. While that happens, Undying does deny himself. Cream was on his way across, not able to get there okay. in time. So, looks like they did abandon the tri lanes to go to few lanes, and I feel like that works out a little bit better for Blink Pool. Speaking of which, bot lane, Zax up. Power shot doesn't connect, Nav does split off though. Kitrak can't get him low enough to use the brain sap. Has to be careful with this stick. But there's no mana on Bane. He has his mangoes, but the cooldowns are there. As well. Can't really catch on oh, top lane. Ritsu, though, they skewer through, slow down the soul rip to protect, but Ritsu taking a lot of damage. They can't finish him off though. They keep getting him so damn close, but they feel so damn far. Yeah, close, but no cigar. And now he's just gonna heal up again, use his blood rage, and that's it. Yeah, it's oh, that kind of frustration. Oh. You either kill him or you lose the lane because it, you can't play a battle of attrition against a Bloodseeker. It just doesn't work. That's definitely, that's definitely true. It's it's partly why he's in the meta as well. Like You can't really just scare him off of the lane. Yeah, if you completely dominate him, like Phoenix and LC did in a game that we watched earlier. But here, he's trading hits with you. And if you're not killing him, he's just going to heal up. Small well, ball lane. lane it's just... Madara. About to get stunned up. Can they finish him off? We've got the doppelganger who'll try and dodge out and move away, but they'll be able to get the final hit through. Can they kill Kitrak in response to the question? Power shot's coming off cooldown. They could maybe line this up. He has sticks. It's not possible. With yeah. the level one power shot, maybe level two would, would be, but not like this. Especially with all the bodies in the way. In what top? This is where Ritsu gets a little bit more aggressive with that extra damage coming out. Speaking of which, skewer through, catches onto two. Kezu chases through, risk can be kept alive by the soul rip. Can they keep him going? Yes, they can. Milan. Yeah, I'm not certain he should be doing this. Like, he ske skewers the Bloodseeker away from the tree. And yeah, he slows him, but the tree cannot follow up close enough to, to do it. Get him. All right. Actually, my god, another shockwave comes out. Ritsu will live, though. At least he isn't strong enough. I really like though, if you remember, I was I was saying how Leech Seed level 2 is not something I usually take, but on this lane, I can totally see why he's going for it. They're relying on the slows to chase down. They've got heavy physical damage because of the Empower. They just need to stay in range. Definitely heavy physical damage, but they can't get there. Oh, like, every time. Misery, get the core get the core hit. Get it, get it! Oh, you ruined it! Yes, he gets what? it! They didn't... 
All right. They did not Do glyph that. They did not expect it. Oh. They didn't glyph the courier. That that was weird because because you, if he hits it once, you instantly glyph it. They should have. Nah, it's just they were busy somewhere somewhere else, and that's it. They were busy focusing on CS. Come on, man. You know, it, it, it's it's difficult not to you know lose focus. Everyone's like, come on, you got to focus on so much in the game of Doha, and this is TI. Everybody's on the line. You'll, you yeah, know, the sacrifice have to be made, and sometimes it's that poor little donkey. Dude, like these players, trust me, they're not even playing their best in these games. That's how they're, right? and not all of them. Some of them are uh, seasoned and experienced. Oh, they might uh, get rid of him. Again. Punched in. Get, get rid of him. It's finally working. It's finally working out. With that double level of leech seed, that was all they needed. That's the only problem. I mean, they were skewering him out of range for like three, four times in a row yeah. now, but this time it finally worked. You know, they'll learn from their mistakes. They're improving. That's all that matters, okay? We don't focus on the ifs, muts, and maybes. We, we focus on the now. How did they improve? They just did the same yeah. goddamn thing, only it worked this time. He didn't have stick charges <laughs> or something. But uh, I mean, he's just right. trying to make a reason. Like, there's clearly a reason. I just have, like, you're there or up against a desk, shaking back and forth. It's like, there was a reason. There had to be a reason. The reason is level 4 Magnus. There you go. Level 2 Empower or something. I don't know. Whatever. Maxa, gonna run into Kitrak. Rev is coming across. Spirit Lance out. Kitrak does Nightmare him up. Rev will land the split off stun. And the wind run's still available. He needs to use it right now. Turn around. Shackle shot. Power there shot through. will get the kill. Can he move away? Kitrak in the chase. He'll give his life for this though. It should be a two for one. The brain stab available. Madara hasn't got the Spirit Lance for another one second. We'll throw it out. Can he, he chase on? Doppelganger through, breaks the trees, and while that's happening in the top lane, Misery strikes again as they kill off the Bloodseeker once more. Ritsu not having a fun time up there, and Kitrak definitely not having a fun time in the bot lane. Yeah. So, uh, this is actually super worth it for Blinkpool. I mean, they, they just killed two cores, one on one lane, the other on the other. Oh, for it's for them. Jackal shot, again. power shot. Gets a little bit cocky, he might pay the price here. Puts out a lightning storm, one more hit will do it, and Saxa gets it. Meanwhile, top, yeah, Misery, top. it's come around the back. Oh, the Blood Bright will clear them out. They have to move away. So much action, man. I'm loving this. Like, good old CIS. <coughs> I mean, <laughs> British Dota. Bre Brexit Dota. See, that's, right. that's, why, you know, that's why we left the... That's why we're leaving the EU, right? Is because there's not enough aggression in the other game. Yeah, so many Brits in these two teams, by the way. I there just are. Amazed. There's huge amounts. You know, uh, the, 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 the British blood just runs deep between these guys. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> All right. So, so far the only lane that's kind of doing fairly well for uh, Wind and Rain is this mid lane. Like they're doing pretty well on this TA. Kind of to be expected at this point, to be honest, though. Yeah, she's got good control. I mean, look at the amount of traps around her. It's like, please, Kaiser, approach. It, yeah, it's very hard for him to go anywhere. He actually has to. Uh, inventory in his backpack. He moved them in now. He's gonna try and leave wards. He has to kill this sentry. It's like... I think the outrage a lot of people have been having is how little gold you get from killing the traps anyway. Meanwhile, bot lane. Shackle shot lands on the kid track. Needs to be away. Madara trying to chase him. Lion storm on him. Living armor means he should be fine. But yeah, cannot they, pursue. They don't want to go on kid track this lane. Every time they go on forever first, they actually kill him. But if they go on kid track, it's kind of more difficult. So, there's that. Yeah, he's the front line, well, essentially. Lane. Again. <laughs> Look at all these blood rights every time under his own tower. That really sets the standard for what's happening in this top lane. It's just complete lane. dominance. Coming in for Rev. They do jump him this time around. Jack shot lands. Power shot through will clean it up. And now Kitrak in full retreat. Yeah, you go on. You go on uh, for Rev first uh, to get them both. Kitrak, yeah, Kitrak's yeah. gone. One brain sap. Is it enough though? It might be. On top lane, Milan. Jason fruit. <laughs> One oh, hit. Geez. So far. And he mocks <laughs> so him with a dance. Actually. He's like, what up? You ain't getting nothing here. I mean, dude, this Treant is rocking 140 damage. Like, base damage. He has no <laughs> items. You know what? Misery, go buy a Mask of Madness Echo Saber, man. Be a man. Phase boots, man. Phase boots. Phase? Well, actually, yeah. it's it's the build right now. I mean, most As likely the not. Oh, Kai's in the mid lane. Bro, trying to jump in him. He's actually going to TP back and away. Taking so much damage. One more hit might have done it. So well read by him not to try and fight that, as he had no oh, creeps to try and get rid of it. Ritsu? Ritsu is in uh, problems. Surprise, maybe. Ritsu! Should be able to move not away, though. They need level 6 on Misery. Then they've got the overgrowth. Definitely. But Blinkpool right now, coming out of these laner phases, looking fantastic. 4,000 net worth lead already, and we're only 10 minutes into the game. Yeah, Blinkpool 
gambled <clears throat> on their leaning stage. <clears throat> and I think they've won that bet. So far, at least. Hey, there's no gambling in, in Valve games anymore. Uh, yeah, all right, my bad. Sorry. <laughs> Except maybe Sorry, the teams. Gaben. Sorry, Gaben. I mean, Ritsu has six, but he can't even try and challenge Misery right now. What does he do, though? Like, they need they need a rotation. That, that's what they need right now. Well, no but one's ready, though. Yeah. yeah. Like, TA is not going to do it. Meanwhile, as I'm saying that, she's she is slowly <laughs> creeping towards top lane. Yeah, yeah, well, she's, she's farming. Woods, yeah. but I think the other issue is we said, like, maybe Bane could do it, but here's the problem. We said what happens the moment that Ferev gets left alone. He just disappears. What happened is... Uh, Bloodseeker is porting mid. He's abandoning this top lane. But at the same time, Milan is... Milan is kind of... Uh, Milan is in no, no man's land right now. He's farming these creeps. However, Treant and Magnus are very close to him. It's daytime as well. I think they're going to see him. I think yeah, they do already I mean, they see him. See, they, they see him already, but they have their sights on this tower top, I think. I, I don't think they go for the Undying, unless he walks in. Oh, well, if that makes it much in. easier. Misery going to move across. Leech Seat coming out. Shockwave won't land. And they run this yeah. down. Kezu has the a skewer. Comes through. Trap's going to be there, but now the RP, they jump in. The Overgrove stacked over each other. The Shockwave kill does occur, but now Kezu being chased under Bebrow. Can Kezu get out is the question. He has got the TP, but with Ferev here, he doesn't want to try. Living Armor will protect. Stunning yeah, trap. There's a trap. Trying to slow him. There's a Ferev with the stun. Okay, he needs to TP right now. This is his only chance, but there's no chance. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, they see an opportunity. Shackle Shock comes out. Ritsu gets pretty low. Not low enough, though. I mean, the, the thing is, again, these teams are doing the same mistakes. I, they go for these undying kills. Milan is happy for to die for his team if that means that Magnus is going to die after. Like, he's definitely ready to make that trade. So, going on undying that deep using both uh, overgrowth and RP is maybe not the best thing, but they didn't know where TA was. They don't have the all vision like we do, so it's kind of harder for, for them to make these calls and decide heat of the moment. Hey, you know, some of these guys played in tier one teams. They might not have the vision, but they're better dirt than us. Yeah, definitely. It's like, like you had to swallow the pride a little bit. Like, yep, the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's just crying in the corner. There, there's two players here that I played with for more than a year in the same team. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe. Maybe you're right. <laughs> I'm not going to accept anything just yet. Rev? I'm still trying. Rev went a little bit deep here. Shackle Shot connects. They'll have a power shot follow up as well. Rev down to half HP already. Kezu going to drag him away from this, but the Nightmare comes out. The Fiends Grip as well. Saxa controlled up, but Kezu will get the kill to Rev. And now the Fiends Grip follow up. Brain Stab. Saxa doesn't have the wind run. Kick Track should live, but now the Rupture coming out. Kezu. They'll just try for the TP out. It's going to be late. way too late. Yep. The Blood Right gets the kill. I mean, uh, Wind and Rain, they're, they're going out of the laning stage fairly well. On top lane, Milan is going to fall. Jump in? Yeah, and fine. He's going to die as well. Mmm, more gold for Kaiser. Yeah. I mean, he was defending the tower and it's not the biggest hill. However, on the other side, losing both your Windrunner and Magnus and the tier 1 on bottom and giving the kill to Ritsu, who's had a very bad laning stage, is, is yeah, it's much more problematic for Blinkpool. Yeah, the Bloodseeker, like, you can look right now and go, ah, he's not top net worth, he's not a worry. But it's that type of hero that can easily just recover in this mid-game off one or two kills, and then he can control the game from there. Mm -hmm. He just snowballs out. And on the other hand, they have this uh, TA that can kind of carry them through the mid-game. Yeah. She's going for the Desolator, not for the Blink, which is, well, not too surprising. It's very rare you go for the Blink first. I feel like if yeah. you've got enough stuns, I can, like, I can go, okay, Blink first because you've got the control. Right now, like you look at the heroes, they've got it's some just, decent stuns, but it's, it's the like the skill shot element. It, the it's track. just way too aggressive. Going for blink first, it's it's if you have dominated the lane so hard that you have it very like you you get it very fast and then you can continue slow snowballing with it, right? That that's the way. But if you buy it late and then you ha don't have the desolator, your your farm even slows down. And if you're not getting the pickoffs, then what what's the point of that item? So. That's a fair point. Like, they don't want to fight too soon. As we said already, Bloodseeker won to recover off the back of kills, but if you do choose to go blink there, then you're full in on, we're going to find kills. We're definitely going to kill people. And if you fail to do so, suddenly you more or less put yourself in a, a game losing position. You know what's really interesting? Like, Milan on the Undying, he's level 5. At the same time, Kitrak is level 9 on Bane. <laughs> and There's the a slight that, difference. 
No, the, the point is the guy that just used the tome was Bane. He took what? the tome and he yeah, he took the tome and he used it to get level nine and a half. I mean, would you really say flesh golem is that big of a deal? Like if we're totally honest. I mean honestly, it's not just the flesh golem, like undying benefits from levels. It's the levels in tombstone, level in soul rip. <laughs> be fine. I mean, I'm certain he'll be fine. They have a plan why, why, why they're doing it, but I, I don't get the plan. Like, Bane, level 10? What? Why? Like, imagine they are screaming at each other right now, like, Why did you eat the tome? No, no, I mean, it's not like that. I, I'm just finding it, finding it a bit harder to understand. In fairness, the cost range of Bane is pretty insane. That's true. That's true. But Definitely. Madara, he just picked up his defusal off that tower. It's kind of this effect that PL has when he's playing with Magnus. Oh, bro. Just farm so They're gonna get rid fast. of the refraction. Overgrowth. Too much range between them. They do force two TPs, though. Well, they might decide. I think probably he's just gonna back off. Like, the Bane's come around Bane back. Bane is coming in as well. Oh, the yeah. trap. Slow Saxa. They'll put down the tombstone as well. Nightmare up, but the zombie will get him out now. Saxa. Forced to stand his ground. Won't last very long against this. Yeah, not the biggest loss ever. You shrug. Like, I mean, I, yeah, this wind runner is position five in their team, so just losing her is not really super horrible. However, they scout out the tree. He moves out of the vision. Oh, yeah, is he's gonna really run away. No, they, they did get the ward though. I think the other big deal, actually, before even like, if we didn't consider the fact they just lost that ward as well, was the fact that you commit tombstone on the side of war, and that's a big cooldown for you for what you're supposed to do. Up in the top though, Brial caught here. Light strike array, Laguna fruit, just to ensure there's no. Tom Foolery around that kill. He did finish his Desolator though, so he didn't really lose a lot. Yeah, he There's bought that, it. Least. Yeah, he bought it, so. Meanwhile, Ritsu going for the Blade Mel first. Has enough gold for it. I don't know if he's just holding out for, like, trying to work out if this is the scenario, if this is the yeah, game. I, I think he's he's still deciding. Like, he's still deciding if that's the right choice or not. Like, he was switching. I, I, I was checking him. He was switching bet between that and Radiance, uh, like, two or three times already now, so. Hard breed. Like, I think you have to kind of monitor based on the TA. Like, if she can come online in the next few minutes, do you think you can capitalize on her with the blade mail, or do you just feel like you need to be their um, backup man? Yeah, it, it, they they have to decide that right now. He has to decide it. But it seems like he's still going for the radiance. But I'm not so certain that's that's the best option. I, I think he needs to fight. I need. I think what you said is right. He needs to be the the guy that supports his team while the TA comes even more online. She gets that blink and whatnot. Yeah, but this, uh, this game's about her, basically. Yeah. At the same time, though, Radiance is really good versus PL, and it's not like Blinkpool is forcing anything, so it's not like they're forcing their hands, so Ritsu can just take his time. And but Madara is yeah. farming up towards the heart next. Typical build. I, I, I feel like there's a lot of scenarios <laughs> where you can justify different items, actually, on the Phantom Lancer. Yep. Uh, like, the last time we saw the PL build a heart, I really didn't like it. It was too soon. Sometimes it feels like this heart... Yeah, th listen, the heart on PL is always good in this situation. Like, you get the Aquila, you get the Diffusal, and you go for heart. It's great. No doubt about it. You can you can cause so much chaos in the team fights. You can get out with Doppelganger, heal up, join the fights again. It's awesome. But sometimes the teams need more damage they need extra damage and w once you build heart you're kind of stuck on that tankiness and just it's also the chaos is already there right overgrowth holds them in place you've got shackle shots you've got rps you have so much lockdown is your Wait, concern wait's... really you need more chaos you have meme hammer man misery has the meme hammer oh he's so picked he... it up i've seen him he's do this not... a few times he loves this item so much from his strengths uh, it, it's so good on trian because you can do this you see yep hello tower goodbye <laughs> And that's it. He takes the creeps. And I've done my job. Yeah. It's also, I mean, like, you have the root control to set up Meteor Hammers, especially exactly. once, like, later in the game, it's insane with that uh, two-second root. Dude, Killer Pigeon, you, you're, like, reading my mind, man. Dude, it's insane. You can lock someone in permanently. Like, you, you're so... We're so in sync, man. Are, are you, like, 7k, 8k or something? Like, I, uh, you, I, you know, be. I you remember be, I say I'm on calibrate, you. so you can't. Dude, uh, I, uh, you, you should calibrate. I, I, I feel the 7k spirit inside of you. I mean, I, I would I calibrate, but I'm worried I'd ruin your matches. You know, you'd be frustrated. You know, go up against me, I'd spam techies. You wouldn't like me. It's... Dude, I love techies. You see, we're no, so no, no, against sync. you though. It doesn't matter. I love techies. <laughs> I love it when it's against me. Easy, uh, easy. I, I, I mean, I mean, if you're playing techies, I, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you ain't seen how I do it yet. I'll have to educate you after the stream. Oh, the oh dust. misery! The run, dust! The run. run! Run, little moat woodman, run! Oh no, he has nowhere to go. He has to use the Ooh, overgrowth. Yeah, yeah. Nightmare comes out. Actually, going to be pulled yeah, yeah. off by the zombies. The dust ran the out. Dust ran the out. dust ran out. Panic of earth. Yeah. Oh, more dust! dust. Uh, the use and the stun and goodbye. But the amount of attention that that crazy little treat man required. Space. Yeah, I do. <laughs> that's a lot of space right there, man. And... Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, he, uh, all five of them were just running around those two cliffs there, searching for him. They dropped the tombstone as well, just in case, so he doesn't port out, so they see him through the uh, on top lane, though. Never mind. Nah, that's fine. Yeah, like, they, they, so... they gave a lot of attention, and because of that, their lanes are pushed in on mid and top, and that's why this Kaiser, Lina, can just farm out their whole jungle without worrying. It's like we typically say, right? Like, matches are one not in big macros. It's a series of micros, right? It's a series of small actions. And an action like that, it's like, oh, well, it only took them, like, 10 seconds. It's like, you think about that. That's, like, no, a way it's, for it's each huge. of the heroes to get, and the other heroes are missing. And, it's like, huge. this gold swing is more and, than the kill. You know what the thing is? Like, uh, these small things are very hard to do if you're, like, a tier 2 or tier 3 player. I've noticed it. But if you're a tier 1 player, it, it, they come so naturally to you, like Misery, just running around there and, and making so many, so much space for his team. It's kind of a... Like, it, it might have not even been the plan for him, right? But he still made the most out of it. Uh, the thing that it reminds me the most is, like, rebounds in football, if, if you know what I mean. Like, you, you don't expect to score a goal, but a rebound happens and suddenly you're in a favorable position. Yeah, it's like that... how quickly you react and how you react. Yeah, exactly. and, and, like, the thing about, like, there, right, is I, could, I can imagine what you're talking about. Like, most uh, Trents would be like, I'm dead. I'm not going to use yeah. the overgrowth. But he uses it, and it just buys... It doubles the time that he's actually, like, absorbing from War's lineup. He uses it, kites them around for 10 extra seconds, and makes them really work for that kill. It does we have as a well. smoke, though. Saksa. Huh? Moving out of smoke. Milan Can is I actually get this? Their vision. Kezu. Kezu. Oh, the shackle shot go. lands. Oh, what but a perfect the tombstone. Tomb they might be able to back away here. Misery wants to go in, gets the overgrowth one and two. Can they follow this up? The rupture, blood right controls there. Kaiser trying to finish off. Laguna comes out. The right clicks are not enough. The Fiends grip and return. Double stun with a split up there for Rev. He gets close to the action because he wants more kills. Kidrak is going to stay alive with the Nightmare. Meanwhile, Madara is getting out of control. For Rev already dead. This Phantom Lancer just causing absolute anarchy. But the Tombstone Zombies scaring him off a little bit. He'll just finish the tower and back away. As they do get rid of the Tombstone. And they get the, the tier one. Yeah, the, the the thing is like, poor Wind Ranger. Like he was just trying to kill it. He was right clicking it the whole time, but he just couldn't. <laughs> you remember that lone druid from the game? Before? Oh He's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But this was different. It, this was miss chance. That yeah, that was, game was, was lone chances, druid not yeah. killing it quick enough. Like the whole fight, him just. I mean, actually, in fairness to them, that is one good thing for them. With this, with the Phantom Lancer, they don't have this worry that it's going to take them ages to destroy tombstones as the game goes on. That's a good that thing. That tombstone did so much there. It like, did. Yeah. Lina went kind of out of position, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. Madara with the heart just went for the tower. Yeah. Took it, took tier two. And he's got and... a gem as well, so no sneaking in on him. And look at this now. 8k up, and look where the gold is just stationed. Put a 3,000 gold lead over, well, almost 3,000 over his nearest teammate. And, and Madara, you know what? Heart doesn't make you tanky enough. Top lane. Aegis does. Gazer? Like, Never mind. Okay, this is fine. I'll be able to move away. Yeah, he just went past them. They know Rush is happening. He's gonna have to use the blood right there. Lina is in Shadow Blade though and moving around. This Ritsu blood secret oh, might be you'll... in a sort of problem. Yeah, he's gonna be in a lot of trouble. Nightmare to try and help with the RP through. They oh, drag him in the overgrowth. Just Jackal Chop follow up. They're already just wiping him out. The blood right down. Ritsu needs to reset the fight and move away. The Kaiser just stayed out of range. The Nightmare. Not enough, so he commits the Fiend's Grip, but Saxon will live, and now the split up coming in. For Red Blood raised up, he wants to stand and fight. The Yule to try and protect the jump in. They'll find the kill of the Kaiser. Chasing for for Saxon, they won't be able to find him. Madara moving around the tree. The Shackle shot again! Ritzy with a triple kill, but he's not done just yet. He can double ganger and set to go. For Red taking a lot of damage here. Ultra kill. Can Ultra he get the rampage? Kill. Can he get it? Frile! Rampage! Come it on. away! Can he get out? Just trying to hide here, but the gem will reveal you cannot hide from Let's the go. power of Madara. He gets the rampage! rampage. For the PL. Oh, so close, but they were seeing Madara PL at the start of the game in Old Chat. <laughs> God damn, they were right. Gem, pa like, aren't you glad he had that gem? Like, 
most times we'd yep. be like, okay, a gem this early for a Templar assassin, but it made all the difference there. There was nowhere safe that he could hide. You know what? That fight, he was 3k in front. Now he's 5k in front. Uh, <laughs> Money. Money, man. But they're still going for this rush. Yeah, let's why not? Back. Yeah, let's finish this off, guys. Come on. But I was mean, like, hold on a sec, guys. I need to work out what I'm going to build next. What's Misery doing, by the way? He's waiting for his runes. Runes, you fools! I you need the runes! Just... Yeah, give me the bounties! Uh, interesting sentry from Kitrak. He fought those wards around here. Kitrak? Oh, oh, Misery yeah, done course. this a little bit early. Is he but... gonna oh, no, he yeah. came out! No. Misery oh, rubs it still... up! No, he's oh, gonna take it! No, he he's got gonna it. out! He's gonna get out! Oh, oh God! <laughs> What? He took the bounty, man, and he pours it out. Oh my god. I, I, right, this seems like someone's was like, that's a bounty rune and a missed out on kill. It's what you just committed and what he just done. And the fact that you still didn't get... The psychological damage to war from that one action the is ridiculous. The psychological damage is what matters the most. <laughs> like, like, really... You would be tilted after that. Like, what the Definitely. hell did we just do? Definitely. Like, uh, Kitrak, I don't know if his pins grip was on cooldown. It might have been, but I'm... I'm willing to bet that it wasn't, that he could have used Fiend's Grip, but he decided... No, it was, four, it was four seconds, I remember. Like, I, I clicked on it, it was four seconds. Like, right. when he finished the TP, it was still four seconds to go. All right. And then it's, speaking the, of Kitrak... The psychological damage is a bit, like... Misery's coming no. in, he's smoked up. Kitrak's so deep here. Jack with shot, connects. Kitrak, mistakes have been made. The Yule's going to come on and win. Ranger looking to turn this around. Saxa, he triggers the Shrine in time. The RP not committed, but Kezu will finally throw it out. They want to kill him forever, and they'll be able to find it. But that'll be it. I, I feel like that's worth it though, because we saw how Wars way back in the, that fight around mid was the amount of damage that Forever was doing. If you can just Please. eliminate that straight away, you don't care. Yeah. How do you kill this BL right now? It's, it's, it's becoming increasingly difficult. Uh, but like Madara, uh, yeah. got the chase through yeah. Milan. It'll be fine. Yeah. But that's scary up. as all hell. Halfway through your jungle, Madara is just chasing after you the whole time. I think they just go mid now. Like, there's nothing to really stop them from going high ground. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, well, he didn't, he he didn't kill the creeps. A... Yeah. They can just push the in trap. now. The trap missed. The trap missed. They have creeps on bottom lane anyhow. Those, those creeps are coming, so they can push with them. Well, Madara move in with that Aegis and Heart. He's feeling pretty sturdy and happy to just tank the tower. Yeah, Nightmare is still down. Even in. Like, oh, Chris no! pushing top. They missed the split up because the, the Lightning Storm coming through. And now we move forward for Rev, getting super low on HP. He has to use the yours already. And we just turn around Madara, wait for him to come down. We'll get the kill. Beast Group on the back foot will win the Kaiser, but Kid Track. Not the place and not the time. And suddenly, you've lost Rax. Bloodseeker's still not here. Rissi just trying to split push. Maybe not the move to make. And Madara moves forward looking for more. Milan drops the Tombstone, but he does fall for it. I'll just move over. Kill off the Tombstone. Sex BKB the coming out. Oh, on the overgrowth. Bro. He runs out. Refraction charge and runs out alive. Madara just hitting too hard. Moves across on the Ritz as well. GG. They tap out. They've had enough. Blink pull. 27 minutes in. Well, I mean, we were, you said before this, this was going to be one hell of a game. And it was. But it wasn't one hell of a game like the last ones. It didn't go on for over an hour. Blink pull decisive coming out of those lanes. I actually did not expect it to be this one side of this game, in all honesty. I had a feeling that Wind and Rain, they had a stable draft, but it just didn't work. It was, the, like, I feel the issue was they revealed the Bloodseeker, and straight away, like, Misery's gonna know, he's gonna look at that, that's, that's focused around the Bloodseeker. And they shut him down so well. And they stuck a Lashrak in the off lane. And we said about it, right? You had to babysit him. The Bane couldn't leave him for a second, because the moment he did, he died. Yeah, and the, the moment, like, they even... Uh, they didn't really. You can you can kind of tell that they're uh, a bit new together, right? Because Fora would sometimes go alone, and then Bane was that. So by the time Bane came to the lane, Fora was that. And they were just exchanging <laughs> like their moments on the lane, but they were dying alone. So that was kind of unfortunate for them. I think they needed that lane to to go a bit better. So that I also think that Ritsu's. Uh, as you said, maybe Blade Mill was a better option so that Lina cannot burst him down without su suffering the consequences. Well, there, there's a lot of little things. Yeah, it's I like think. we're saying. Like, it's, it's a set of micros. It's not one giant move that decides a game. It's very rarely overall, ever that. Yeah, overall, they played well, but uh, Blinkpool just played better. That's it. Okay, well, next up, we have got 
Kingdra versus OG. I'll be back in a few minutes with that. And interestingly enough, OG four wins so far. So if they get this one, that should be guaranteed through for them. Meanwhile, Kingdra sitting at zero wins. They need this. If they miss out on this one. I think that actually might be it for them. So a lot to play for. Or at least they are very close to the line at that stage. Like actually looking at right now, most teams, yeah. It's I have some. Grim. I have some insights about that team. So like Ooh. after. Yeah, after you can their... save it. You can save it. We're gonna talk about it in just a few minutes. Stay tuned. After there, yeah. 